Well, hello, hello everyone. Welcome back to the channel. Miss Crochet and Coffee here. And today we're going to do something a little bit different. We got an unboxing for you, of course. And then we're going to talk about some things. We're going to talk about some things. First, let's get into this package. I have to thank Stitcherista for this one. One morning I was laying in bed and she messaged me and she was like, hey, do you happen to know if they make a bigger container than this? Now, she likes, she likes these containers and she was looking for something bigger. And I'm like, I've never seen a bigger one. Well, you guys know when Stitcherista wants something, Stitcherista gets something. So she went looking for it and she found it. And then when she found it, I was like, no way. I got to get me one of those. Matter of fact, I got to get me two of those. So I got two of them. So I am obsessed with not only buying diamond paintings and diamond painting accessories. I am also obsessed with storage because you got to have somewhere to store these things, right? Right. So I'm just kind of taking the plastic off of them so you can actually see them. So I paid $10.58 for both of these. Yeah, yeah, I did. I did that. $10.58 for both of these. And essentially, it's just two of these. So I now have five. So you open it up just like you would that one. And then they're separated by a divider in the middle. And then you have your little containers. Isn't that cool? And they're rainbow, so uh, yeah. So, I got these off AliExpress. I will have links to all the things I'm gonna show you here. And you're probably like, what things? All the things, folks, all the things. So let's talk storage, shall we? Now, there are many different types of storage, okay? So you have this type of storage, which if you're kidding up something that doesn't have a lot of colors, or if it does have a lot of colors, but not a whole lot of the color, like say you don't have 52,000 three tenths, you can use something like this for a project. If you have a smaller painting, which I don't know if you guys remember, I was doing that, I was trying to do the paint with diamonds moon, but then it was so messed up and had more wrinkles than grandma on a Sunday at church that I couldn't work on it. I had it kitted up and I never kitted it down because I really wanted to work on it. It's still kitted up. I don't care. Some of these containers may or may not have diamonds still in them from previous kits that I was working on. So again, don't judge me. All right. So the next thing I have are these. Now these little jars, literally it's in a container. Oh, there's plastic on, uh, on the inside. I was like, what is that? They're, they're, they're like the bigger containers. Like, hold on, I'll show you. All right, sorry about that. I might have to pause a few times because I got to remember that I get all the storage out because Lord knows I'll forget. So these containers I found at Walmart. If you go back in your jewelry section where they do beading, you'll find all kinds of cool little goodies like this. Now this cost me literally $5 and you get what? Three, six, nine, 12. You get 12 of those for five bucks and they're a decent size. What size are they? Now you guys remember, I also have this storage container system. This is the one that zips up with the purple, with the handle, with the purple uh, thing around the edge. And it comes with these little ones, right? Right. So these are as big as that. They're, they're bigger, I should say. And they got fuzz on it from the thing. So these are the size of the ones that come in this case. And then these big old whomping fat ones come in the ones I get at Walmart. Again, it's back in your jewelry section. I might not be able to uh, link these in the video. Just check your local Walmart if you have a local Walmart. And then these come in the case. And then this one comes with, I believe, 60 in the case. And it comes with, obviously, this cool case. And it came with all those labels. I will have the unboxing link somewhere. Like, that little eye will pop up for you guys. I'll scare the crap out of you. But, yeah. So, I have... These circular containers and then these circular containers. And they're different sizes. And so, because I was wondering, what would be the best long-term storage that you can get? Because we all want long-term storage. And as if I remember correctly, there are 447 DMC colors. And some people do the shoebox thing where they have like the index card and the shoebox with the zippy or the zippy. With the Ziploc bags in between for all the colors. And that works. But if you're looking to say like, you know, have like a hard system, like a plastic system of some sort, if you want to like be able to stack them up somewhere, this, one of these options might be good for you. Plus, if you're looking for storage, you're going to be like, you know, 
what kind of storage is out there. Well, I'm gonna show you a couple that I have. And I've been waiting for those to come in so I can show you. And believe me, what I have is not them all, but it's all the ones I've seen since I've started making videos almost a year ago. So again, we have the little fat ones, we have the little small ones. The next thing is everyone's favorite right now. They're like, this is the shiz, okay? These are the Harbor Freight containers. Now, you know you can get these Harbor Freight containers for about $4.95 or $0.94 cents or $0.92. Cents. $4 and change, okay? You can get these Harbor Freight containers, and they have 20. It says 25 pieces. When, when I, If you do are like me, you're like, where's the other piece? It's the big case. It's the big case. So there's 24 of the little square boxes on the inside. Now, I probably have about 20 of these, and that's what I'm going to start using for my long-term storage because I really like how that system works. Um, but yeah, you can literally get these at your local Harbor Freight, or if you're out of country, you can get one of your friends to send you some because they're not that expensive. And then we have, and a lot of these things are like this here. This I'm sure was used, supposed to be used for like nuts and bolts for tools, but somebody in the crafting community was like, nah, dude, nah, I got diamonds. I got diamonds and I need to store them. Give me that. So this is this is my go-to right now for diamond storage, okay? So what's your favorite diamond storage? You write that down in the comment. If I show it, you just say whichever one I show. So we have the Harbor Freight. We have the 60-piece glass container or plastic. They're plastic. We have these little plastic ones, which for me, this wouldn't hold enough. But this would hold a pretty decent sized project. So like if you have, uh, for me, it's one of my snack size paintings, it'd fit in there just fine. And then this one, if you're wondering what's in there, I have two of these systems. And this are, these are all the extra diamonds from Swan Lake. Because as you guys know, Swan Lake has 12 colors and this has 3, 6, 9, 12, 12 jars. So I use this to put all the extra diamonds that I had. Because even though it only has 12 colors, there's a whole lot of those 12 colors. So I use that. For that the next storage system i'm going to show you is the tic tac containers now tic tac containers they're small and i know who is it that i have seen with these i think uh gone off my meds wendy has these and i think hers might be a little bit bigger than this but essentially like you take this top part off you fill it with your diamonds and then you just kind of label it and put it away now this one i believe is a 64 piece set the 64 piece set for this is $15 on Amazon. I think you can get the 24 piece set or something like that for like 17 something. But I got these because I wanted to try them out and I never tried them out because I got the Harbor Freight like right after it. And I was like, yeah, those aren't gonna fit anything. And they don't look like they'll fit a whole lot of anything in them. They're really teeny tiny. So that is gonna be part of something else I do with my channel. So you have your Tic Tac containers. We're going to move you up so you can start seeing them because they're coming out of the woodwork over here. All right. The next thing I have are the stackable containers. Now, I have quite a few of these. And I'm going to see if I have one opened over here. I do. All right. Because I have quite a few of them. I'm all about storage, folks. Now, the stackable containers, I first saw these featured on, I believe it was Crafting with Christie's channel. And she had them and I was like, oh, dude, that is so cool. I would love to have something that stacks up like that. And then I realized that every time you would need a color and say it's not on top, you have to untwist it, twist it back on there. Now, why do I have so many of these? Usually when I buy storage, I buy it in twos, except for the Tic Tac thing, because I, I didn't think I was going to like that. So I didn't buy that in two. And that has 60 in it. Do I really need that many? No, I don't really need that many. That thing's expensive. Um... Because when I got them, it was broken. So can you see the crack right there on the side? It's broken. Because it's broken, it makes it harder to keep those containers in place because that whole section will essentially be gone. So they tried sending me the containers over and over and over again. By the time I was done, I think I have six of these now because they kept trying to replace the ones that were broken. And the one I cut my finger on trying to get into. Um, but if you're looking for something cheap storage-wise, this might tickle your fancy. It's only $6 at Michael's. And if you have a 50% off coupon, that's $3. So, yeah. So, those stackable ones. And they did work good because if you remember, I did use those when I did my um, Diamond Art Club customs. 
Disclaimer, Diamond Article does not do customs. It was just an experiment. They chose not to do customs. I'm sorry that you're sorry that they're not doing customs, but they're not doing customs. All right, so let's move on. Yes, I still get people that ask me why don't Diamond Art Club do customs. So, we have, let, let, let's, let's, let's get to the next system and then we'll talk about, you know, more stuff with each of these. The next system I have, which you can see I've, I've obviously not used this one yet, is the lockables. Now, I like the lockables. But they can be a pain in the tuchus, okay? When I'm talking about pain, one, because they're in a plastic sleeve, they sweat in there. So as you can see, you, you can't tell where the plastic ends, right? So trying to get them out there sometimes. Can be a pain in the butt. Either way. With the lockables, you press this top piece here, this little button, and it releases your tops. Now, without pressing that button, you can't open those containers unless you want to break them. Which is all nice, except for if you don't close it all the way, like I found out. If you don't close that all the way and you think you do, and then you go to try to snatch it out of there, and then diamonds go flying everywhere, that can be a pain in the butt. Um, the lockables right now on uh, Amazon are $23.92. They kept jacking the price up when everybody started going after them. Like, I believe at one point they were like $40, but they're for, they're $20. And I was able to, to kit up K Rico Siren, which was that 55 by 174. I was able to kit up a large diamond painting in one of these. Now, when I first started my channel, I started off with the Doris. Now, that's this. The Doris comes in two different types. You can get the ones that only have these tiny little pieces, which I believe is the 84 or the 82 piece set. And right now on Amazon, that is $22.60. And it comes with 82 of these. Okay? Or you can get the 45 piece set, which comes with the bigger containers, which are the ones that look like this and that are a little bit bigger. And I have the other one out there. I just don't feel like going to run and get it. But they have these and then like the ones that are a little bit bigger by like that much. Um, the 45 piece set runs you $18.48 for one of the trays. And it of course comes with a tray and it will come with labels. So let's talk storage for a second, okay? So that's all the storage I can think of that I have. If I, I don't think I have any more, I possibly probably do, but I don't know where it's at. Um, so let's talk storage. Okay, so larger diamond paintings. For your larger diamond paintings, you're going to want something like a Doris. You're going to want something like a lockable, something with the big storage capacity, something like your Harbor Freight. Um, even the Walmart ones, if you get a couple of these, these would be great for storing large diamonds in because you can possibly fit, I want to say there's 5,000 drills in there. So you could probably fit about 5,000 drills in there. And there's still space in there. Like, I have it labeled, but as you can see, there's still space in there for more. You don't want to fill it to the tippy top, though, but there's still space in there for more. So that's about 5,000 drills in there. So these would be good for, you know, larger projects. Would you want to put a larger project in this? No. Anything bigger than a 40 by 50, to be honest, I wouldn't use these just because you would need multiples of them. Now, if you have multiples, that's fine, but sometimes it can get confusing with when you have to unscrew, then rescrew them back together. And if, you know, how, however you label them, like I just had them labeled where I had a piece of tape and I had the DMC number and the symbol, which worked out fine for the customs, but I would imagine a bigger kit would be confusing because you would have to have multiple of the symbol because you would have multiple bags of it. And these can probably hold, I'm gonna say maybe four to 500 drills. So not a whole lot that it can hold. And they do crack and break because these are, these are hard plastic. They will crack and break. I've had two of them that have cracked and broken on me. So yeah, and then when I tried to take the tape off, it left this ugly residue, which I can get that off. A little heat will get that off. Use Jeremy's blow dryer trick. All right. So for we're going to separate these from, you know, what you would like to use for bigger kits and what you would use for smaller kits. For, so I would say between a 40, 40 by 50 or lower for this one. 
bigger kit. You know, most people buy these in bulk because they're only $5 and you get 24 in that $5. So for bigger kits, like right now I'm working on a 50, 74 by 55. And I have two of these for that 74 by 55. So if you have two of these, you can kit up essentially because there's 24 in there. So I only needed for island time, I only needed 49 containers. They come with 48 in the two and then I just stole one from another one that I had open. So bigger kits, yes, because these containers, as you can see, they're a decent size and they can probably hold around three to 400 drills, maybe 500, but you'd be pushing it. Um, the Doris containers, also another one I would consider if, you're do, if you like doing bigger projects because it does give you the variety of either having the smaller ones, which hold about 200 drills, and then these hold about 500 to five to, I want to say five to 800. And then the other ones will hold about a thousand to, you know, 2000 possibly. You might be pushing it with the 2000. But, um, so for bigger kits, you know, the Doris, yes, I would definitely recommend that for a bigger kit. Um, now I'm a little on the fence about this one because these will probably hold about two to 300 drills because you don't want to fill them up too much because then when you go to open them, you don't want them spilling out. Okay. And they're not that deep. So you probably want to kit up something like a 30 by 40. You could possibly, like I said, you could possibly kit something else up in here if you have multiple colors. So say you have 30, uh, colors, you would have more than enough storage space. Cause then you can use what you're not using for that extra color. And I, what I would do is I would write the DMC code and the symbol. And then for the extra ones, I would write the DMC, DMC code and the symbol on that as well. So, um, and it does come with labels. It, it gives you a ton of labels so you can easily label them. But if, there, if your project has more than, like if it's a, if it's a big project that has more than two or three bags, like if you have 48 bags of 310, I wouldn't suggest this system to you. I would suggest something like the lockables, something like the Harbor Freight, something like the jewelry bead storage like this. This, I would say, as long as it doesn't have too many colors, this storage would be good for a 50 by 40 or lower, just like the Michaels kit. Um, just because you, you want to try to avoid having to have multiples of containers because you want to maximize your space on whatever work area you're on. So, you know, this, where it's nice and handy because it has the handle, having this, I think, should be enough for a 50 by 40. Anything bigger than that, you're definitely going to want to go to one of these other systems, okay? So this and the handle one, and they have different sizes of the handle one. I haven't received those yet because I haven't ordered them yet, but I will order them because they're cute. And I like them. And I do plan on using them at some point. I don't kit up projects before I'm ready to work on them. So that's my big thing. So then the next one is the Tic Tac. The Tic Tac containers, obviously, you're going to want to go for small kits. Small kits like anything 30 by 40 or smaller. Because, yes, where it does have a ton of these teeny tiny little containers. Where it does have a ton of those you're going to end up using multiple of them, of those little containers, because there's not a whole lot of space in them. So if you have, like, you might be able to fit 200 drills in there. So if you have, say, 10 bags of 310 or 939 or whatever have you, if you have a bunch of bags of those, you're not going to be able to fit them in there. So you're going to need multiples of these. So I would say 30 by 40 or smaller for the Tic Tac or... That might be something you might be interested in for permanent storage. It doesn't give you a whole lot. But, I mean, it, it gives you a whole lot in the aspect of there's a bunch of them. And as you can see, one of the little things have come off. Like, one of the things broke before it even got here. So, I'm missing a top for that one. But, long-term storage-wise, I, I don't even know if that would be good for long-term storage. Because you wouldn't be able to save that many. But then again, do you really... How many... How many diamonds is enough for long-term storage, really? Do you need to save 500 of each color? Do you need 200 of each color? That depends on the person. If you want to have, you know, for me, 939, 310, and 823 are the ones I'm going to probably have about 5,000 extras. 
Everything else, I think I'm good at 300. And then what I usually do is there's a site on Facebook called Got Diamonds, where if somebody's missing diamonds, you can, you know, out the generosity, generosity of your own heart, send them the diamonds. So that's usually what I'm going to do. And I actually have to go through my diamonds, and I'll be doing that here soon. And uh, I'm, I'm going to be going through that here soon. And when I do do that, I, I probably wouldn't, I don't know if I'll use this system or not. Again, this might be used for something else, but that definitely is something you want to use for short term, like short projects. So then the next thing is this one. This, I wouldn't say is good for long-term storage. This, I would say, is good for projects 30 by 40 or smaller or anything in between 40 by 50 and 30 by 40 because it does give you what? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So what's that? 56? 1, 2, 3, 4, 32, 32. No? Okay, we're going to say it's 56. I'm bad at math. You know these things. These are, these are things we know. So these containers, I wouldn't say are good for permanent storage, but kitting up something that's between 50 by 40 and a 40 by 30 would be good for these. Like this isn't something I would consider for long-term storage just for kitting up this either because you only got one. This is something you might consider for long-term storage if you're not looking to save a whole hell of a lot of one color. This here, I wouldn't suggest for long-term storage. Well, that might be better for long-term storage, seeing as how you probably won't go into it as often. But I'd be afraid, of fearful of mixing stuff up because if you're doing it by like the color code, because there's not a whole lot of space on them to write and put labels, I would be worried about like labels falling off or not having enough space because again, they don't hold a whole lot. So then there's this. This, if you had enough of them, but if you had enough of these, then yeah, that could possibly be a long-term storage deal. But this is going to be better if you are kitting up a project, like I said, 50 by 40 or smaller. You're not going to want to use this for long-term storage because you would need a whole heck of a lot of these. Because again, you're going to need 447 containers, depending on if you're just saving one bag of each color in the DMC code. So you would need a lot of these. And I don't remember what I paid for this. I want to say it was like 20 some odd dollars. So I think that's like the only one I didn't get a price on. I want to say it was like $23 and I got it on sale on AliExpress. I saved 40 cents. Woohoo. Um, but this isn't something I would consider for long-term storage. Now, what I would consider is the Harbor Freight system, definitely, because you have each individual container. So just like, you know, if you need one color, you don't have to pull out a whole line of that one color. And where you could, you know, do a whole line of red, blue, green, purple, white, yellow. That's still going to be hella confusing. You're still going to need a whole lot of those. And at $6 a pop, yeah, no, that's not going to be cost efficient. But for these, $4.92 or 3 or 4 or whatever the sense is, $4 and change, that would make a great storage system. So, like, if you were to pick one up every payday or pick two up every payday. Until you have the amount that you need and then you have time to find storage place for them and where exactly you want to store them. I have a container in my closet that I hold my yarn in and these fit in there. I can fit at least six of these in one of the little squares. So yeah, I would definitely recommend that for long-term storage. The Doris is another system I would do for long-term storage um, just because, yeah, it's, it's great for kidding up projects, but if, you know... It's something you're not looking to open all the time because these little containers can be a pain in the butt and you don't want to overfill them. But they'd be great for long-term storage because you can display them just like that without the glare on them. You can display them just like that and you can have like all your information for them on the top as to what color they are. And like I said, they hold about two to 300 diamonds in them. So you can display them just like that and you can get the smaller ones and the smaller ones have 82 little pieces to it which I think it's only 81 of the little containers because I think they consider this whole piece a piece. So yeah, that is another one I would consider for long-term storage. The lockables, definitely great for long-term storage because you know you don't have to pull it out all the time. My biggest thing with the lockables though, because when everybody went crazy over these, 
I, of course, went out and bought two of them. I think my dad actually bought me one of them. I don't remember. But uh, sometimes these can be hard to open. And also sometimes in that little hole there, you can get stuff caught. So, like, you can get diamonds caught in there if you don't use, like, that little spoon. And the diamonds got caught in one of mine, and now my mechanism doesn't work correctly. And now since the mechanism doesn't work, those containers will open and close, you know, without having to press that button down, which sucks because I did pay like 20 some odd dollars for this. So, yeah. So I would also suggest, you know, the lockables because it's not something you're going to be opening it all the time. Again, it's only something that you'd open if you wanted to add more diamonds or something like that. And those lockable containers can hold probably a good 500 diamonds in them. And then you have these. I wouldn't suggest these for, I mean, you can do long-term storage with these, but you're going to have to buy a whole hell of a lot of them because there's only 12 of them in here. And right now I have what? One, two, three, three rows or one row of 310. There was another one. I already used that one. But, you know, if I were to say this is my long-term storage, those are all my 310s. Yeah, but you need 447. So cost efficient wise, that wouldn't be great for long-term storage. That would be good for kitting up and kitting down. For projects on the go. Lockables, the Doris, and the Harbor Freight would be my go-to for long-term storage. Just because there's something that you can display and see versus the other containers which are smaller and you would need more of them to essentially get the desired amount of container storage possibilities you need out of them. So, what do you guys think? What are your thoughts on storage? Do you have any of these storage systems? If not, if you look next to the title on the right-hand side, there is an arrow. So I'm, I'm half convinced that I don't think everybody knows how to get to the description box. So if you look to, if, if, if you look like over there, there's a little gray area, uh, arrow. If you press on that arrow, a drop box falls down. And it has everything I list in my videos in that Dropbox. So you will have a link to each and every one of these storage systems. Now, if you live in the U.S., because that's where I live, obviously, Amazon has the Doris. Amazon even has these cases, but you just don't get to pick out what color goes around it. Amazon has the Tic Tacs. Harbor Freight has the containers there. Lockables can be found on Amazon. Those little fat containers can be found at your local Walmart. The smaller containers and these containers were... You can find them on AliExpress. That small, the little small container right there, it's only $3.33. That's the cheapest I found it on AliExpress. Again, I paid $10.58 for the both of these. So thank you again to Stitcherista for helping me find those, which I wasn't even the one looking for them. She was, but I was just like, I got to get me in on that because, you know, I'm all about the storage. But, uh, and then the Tic Tac containers, you can also find on, you can find those on AliExpress and you can find those on Amazon. So, yeah. So I think that's it for me, folks. That is what I wanted to show you with the storage care systems. Uh, so for those of you who are new, these are the systems that you will more likely see on channels uh, here on YouTube. These are the most common storage containers that you will see. Um, except for this one. I haven't seen anybody else with this one. But then again, I don't get to watch YouTube much more nowadays with the kids being home. But yeah, but the lockables, the Harbor Freight, the Doris. And this little container here are the ones you see the most. And then you'll probably start seeing these because they're cute and they're rainbow. So, yeah. Anyways. So, I think that's it for me, folks. Please let me know what you think down in the comments. Which storage system do you think would be best to keep your long-term storage diamonds in? Because as, as of right now, and thanks to the generosity of people like Deb Dranger and Robin Quinn and I, I, a couple other people. I'm sorry if I forgot your name and you sent me one. Due to the generosity of quite a few people, I have tons of these. Uh, Spasmodic Arts was another one that, that sent me some. Um, so this is going to be probably my system for long-term storage. So yeah. And I, I could use any of these, you know, three systems that I said up for long-term storage. That's just the one I prefer right now. Either way, that's it for me. I've got to go. i got to go do both the mommy life. It's tiring, and today is very rainy and windy and cold, so we're having chili and cornbread for dinner, so mm-mm good. 
Either way, let me go before you guys start eating the, your electronic devices. But if you're not already a subscriber and would like to see more random videos just like this one, please feel free to hit the subscribe button and the bell to be notified anytime I randomly decide to put up a video. And believe me, it's random. With that said, I'm going to bid you adieu and remind you to be kind, be courteous, be cool. Bye, guys.